Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. In this video I'm going to show you my uh, updated CD collection. I've already done a CD collection video on my channel, but I thought it would be nice to show you um, yeah, the updated version because I've got quite a lot of new CDs um, since the past time I did this. I think it was like, like one and a half year ago since I did the other video. So I thought it would be nice to show you um, yeah, my CD collection right now. and. Yeah, this video got quite a lot of views, so um, you guys seem to like it, and that's why I'm doing it right now. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and let's get into the video. So I thought we should start with the like nameless CDs, um, the CDs who are from various artists or etc. You know. Um, so I'm gonna start with the Q Music CD boxes. I've got this Q Music CD box top 500 from the tens. And um, it has all kind of different artists on it and um, different songs. Um, I really like it. Don't listen to it that much, but um, yeah, it's nice because you have like five CDs in this box, and you have different type of genres, different type of songs, different type of artists. So that's nice. I got this one when I won my tickets to see Five Stars Live there. Then I also have the top 500 from the 10s, the 2016, if I'm right. Yeah, the 2016 edition. The other one was the 2015 or 14. Let me see. This is 2015 edition. But um, I got this one when I went uh, to music for a guided tour, and it was lovely. We got a little goodie bag at the end, and this was one of the things that was in the goodie bag. And yeah, same with the other. Lots of different artists, lots of different genres. So it's a nice city to listen to. Then I have something um, which is kind of like special for me. Um, my friend gave these two desks um, to me uh, for my birthday this year. And what she did, she asked me what my favorite artists were. And she went to YouTube and downloaded all kind of different songs from the artists that I, I like. And she put it on two CDs. And it's lovely because um, all the artists that I like are on these two CDs. And let's get on with the CD that I don't listen to that much. It's 21 Pilots' uh, Blurry Face. I don't know. There's some some of the songs on this that are good. Um, some of them are, uh, yeah, just not my type of music. But um, about this a year ago or something, when we were on a holiday in France, and yeah, I've listened to it once. <laughs> so I'm not a big fan, but it's okay. Then we have the First Impressions EP from James T.W. and I actually love this so much. Um, it's signed and I got this at his concert. Um, I couldn't really find it anywhere online. Um, and if I got it online somewhere then I had to pay so much for shipping. So I was really happy when I saw this one at his concert because it was only like 5 euros and that's such a good deal for a CD. And yeah, I love it. I love all the songs on this um, album and I think it's a really good one and I absolutely love James C.W. so I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna carry on with the next artist and the next artist is a Dutch band. I don't know if you know them but they are called Kensington and um, yeah, I've got two of their CDs. The first one is the Rifle CD and um, yeah, it has such great songs in it. Um, songs like Streets, War, um, you might know them. And yeah, I think Kensington is a lovely band and I really like the CD. Then the next one I've got from Kensington is their Control CD and it also has a lot of good songs on it. So I also got to see them live uh, when they kind of like played this album live uh, in the Ziggo Dome last year. And yeah, it was, it was a lovely concert. We were so close to the stage and we could see them uh, standing backstage and we could see like the crew doing little guitar swaps and Wow, that was so cool to see, and I really liked that. Um, yeah, the fireworks or the fires that they had, they were a little bit warm, but yeah, I could deal with it. So it was a lovely concert, and uh, the city is also lovely. So then I'm gonna carry on with my Ed Sheeran collection. I have all of his CDs, well, the three of them. Um, the first one I got was actually the Multiply one, uh, or X. How you want to call it. Um, as I said in my last video, it's broken. So it's even more broken now. It only has two of the pins left. So this falls out every time you kind of like pick it up. But I still love the green and all the pictures. Then the second CD I got from Ad was his uh, Divide album. I've got the deluxe edition from it. And um, yeah, I love the songs in it. I'm actually going to see 
uh, Ed Sheeran live in like a month or something. I think it's almost in a month. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm gonna see him live in Amsterdam, in the Amsterdam Arena. So if you're gonna be there, let me know. Um, yeah, this is a really good study and I'm really looking forward to his concert. Plus, a Sheeran CD I have is this one and I haven't really listened to this. I bought this uh, last year um, at the same place where I bought um, the 21 Pilots album. So it was in France and I've listened to it once. <laughs> um, yeah, it is, it is, it's, okay, it's okay, you know, but it's not my favorite from him. And next up I have an artist which has inspired me so much and um, he's like the cutest little thing and oh my god. If you guys don't know Troy Stefan, go check him out because he's wonderful. He is amazing. He makes one... First of all, he makes amazing music. And second of all, he's like very artistic and very daring with what he wears. Um, I don't know if you have seen him uh, at the Met Gala, but he was wearing this red suit and red kind of like... Um, yeah, I don't know how to... Not only the word for it, but it was kind of like this fabric uh, of my skirt. Uh, and he had like a shirt from that. And he looked amazing and, I don't know, this, this dude is amazing, he's just, I, I just love him. Um, the Back City album, um, I love the colors on it and the songs are kind of, songs are really different because yeah, it's just his own style, he really developed his own music genre kind of. And um, yeah, I think that's really nice and if you like it then I think, yeah, this is, this is an album that you would totally appreciate um, but I also get when you don't really like it because it's kind of like different but I think that's cool then I'm gonna carry on with my Little Mix CD collection I've got all of their CDs um, and Little Mix are by far one of my favorite artists I love the girls so much and um, yeah if you follow me on my Instagram um, you've probably seen me doing some of their looks um, I've also got some videos um, dedicated to Linux on my video uh, on my channel so if you want to check him out I will put the link here up here somewhere. First one I got was actually was uh, Get Weird. Um, I also uh, saw them live on their Get Weird tour which was amazing. It was like the first time I saw them live and I loved it. We got tickets like a week before the show um, yeah took place and yeah I loved it. I actually discovered Little Mix, um because of a YouTube ad, because uh, there was an ad uh, for Black Magic. Yeah, it was Black Magic, and um, yeah, I, I I really liked the ad, so I started to listen to their other songs. I also have the Salute album. I personally, I used to really hate this album, and I also used to really hate the DNA album when I was younger. I didn't like Little Mix at all. I kind of like dislike them, but now I'm. I love them so much and the songs on them are so personal and so um, yeah beautiful and inspiring and that's why I love this one so much. It's actually the same with the DNA it has some bobs on it and it also has some yeah, really serious songs on it so that's why I really like it. Then last but not least I have the Glory Days um, Deluxe Edition and the Deluxe Edition comes with yeah, the Deluxe version of the CD and a DVD. Um, yeah. I like the DVD, I've watched it two times or something, and the CDs, the CD is really good, um, songs in it are really great. i also seen um, them live on the Get Weird, to, uh, sorry, on the Glory Days store, which was amazing. We were, yeah, we were kind of close to the stage, and it was just magical, and I love the dance routines and stuff. So, yeah, great CD. So the next artist that I have is Five Seconds of Summer, and I've got a lot of their CDs and EPs. Um, so you can tell that I really love them. I think that their new CD is going to be absolutely amazing because, uh, I don't know, I, I really like the songs that they, um, they've got out right now. So I'm really excited to hear what's on the album. So I'm first going to start with two of the digital download uh, EPs that I have. Um, I don't really listen to them anymore because I've got a new phone and um, a while ago. But I don't have the EPs on my telephone because yeah, it just takes up space, you know. So they were my old phone and I don't use that one anymore, so don't listen to them. I also got two uh, normal EPs with like a CD in it. Uh, I've got their Somewhere New EP, which is 
it's it's so cute because you can just hear this being a um, little low quality but i really like that it's like that low quality um if you like compare beside you on this cd and on maybe on this one then it's such a huge difference but still the same song but i think i kind of prefer this version i also got the she's kind of hot C ep it's an ep um which has three songs in it, She's Kinda Hard, uh, Broken Pieces and Lost in Reality. I love this EP. I wish there were more songs on it so I could listen to it more often. Now I have to put it on repeat. Then, as you can see, I also got the Five Seconds of Summer, Five Seconds of Summer album. And the self-titled album, you know. Um, I got this one from Claire's and I first of all thought that it was like a notebook. But then I opened it and it was uh, the CD. So, <laughs> I accidentally almost excellently bought the CD. The next up we have Live Sauce, which is kind of like the live edition from the previous one. But I don't really like this. The songs on it are good, but I don't know. I don't really like the live thing that's going on. So yeah, it's, it's just personal preference. So I don't like this, but maybe you will. The next up I have my uh, Five Sauce Sounds Good Feels Good um, CDs. Uh, this is the Lilux one. Oh, it's other way around. This is the Lilux one, and um, this is the normal one. I first got the normal one, um, but I actually wanted to buy the Lilux one instead, but they didn't have it. But I really wanted to buy it, so I was like, okay, then I'm gonna buy this one. Um, but then I saw this one in a store in Germany once, and I bought this one too. But now I don't really listen to them anymore, so now I have like two CDs with the same songs, you know. Which is kind of like... Yeah. It's kind of... It's a little bit dumb. Next up I have my uh, The Vamps CD collection. So first off I have um, the Access All Areas box from The Vamps, which includes uh, the CD album, live DVD, digital album download, unique online experience, uh, music videos, social stream network, updates, um, interactive booklet, lyric poster and art cards. So um, I will show you. It's just this box and normally the CDs will be in there, the CD and the DVD, but they are on my wall right now. Next up I have um, the Meet the Fam CD, which I wanted for so long, <laughs> um, but yeah, I never got the chance to buy it um, until this year somewhere. Um, yeah, this year around Christmas I think it was. So I bought this one and I love it. I think it's really cool and it's just the first album. So yeah, <laughs> I didn't really have much to say about this, but I just like it. And we have um, by far my favorite album from the fans, which is uh, Day and Night, the Night Edition. And would you look at this one? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love the colors. I love the like the bluish, um, aqua, pink, purple, red, everything. I love it. It's so beautiful. I wish that if I could yeah, bring out a CD once, if it's ever gonna happen, I hope it will. But if that will happen, then I hope it will look like this one because it looks amazing. I love the colors and the songs on it are amazing. You should definitely go and listen to it. Next up, we have Shawn Mendes and uh, Shawn Mendes. I'm actually gonna see him live again next year. We get tickets to see him in Amsterdam and I'm so, so excited. <laughs> I can't wait, literally, I can't wait to see him live again. Um, I think his new album is, it's so different but I really like it and it's, I don't know how to describe it but I just love it. But I'm first gonna start with the Shawn Mendes handwritten CD. Uh, it has the song Life on a Party on it and it was like the first song um, I heard from Shawn. It was also his first song. I also have the Shawn Mendes Revisited, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm still not sure. <laughs> but I also have this one and um, yeah, it's kind of like the same as the had written. It has the same songs but some of them are live editions and it has some extra songs. I also got his first EP, um, I got this re really recently, I got this when I bought um, the Fam CD too. So it was kind of like December I think, somewhere in the winter. Um, yeah, it's nice. It has four songs in it. Um, Life at the Party show you one of these nights and the wait. And yeah, I just really like the songs. And I think yeah, it's a cute little EP. 
Last but not least, I have Shawn Mendes Illuminate CD. I got the deluxe edition with the booklet that looks like this. I think it's really cool. I also got the same kind of booklet with Little Mix. And yeah, I love the songs on it. I think they're so cool. The last artist, the last but not the least, uh, is the artist which it all began with, which is One Direction. I still love One Direction and I really hope that they're gonna come back together once again. I'm not quite sure if they will, but I really hope they will. Um, first up, I have the Apple Night CD and I've got the German edition from it and I still don't know what's German about it. And I also have the Take Me Home uh, edition and yeah, I first of all got this for my sister for her birthday and uh, then I also wanted to have it so I can like sneak it into my room every time I yeah, like wanted to play it because I didn't ha have it myself. Then uh, when it was City Class, uh, which is a Dutch uh, traditional um, yeah, celebration, um, my grandmother got me this one and I was beyond happy. I couldn't be happier. I really like this CD. Next up, as you've been around here for quite a while, you know that this is my favorite album ever. I love this to death. I love Midnight Memories. It's the best album. If you ask me, it's the best album. But um, I love every song on it. It's so good and I just love the look of it also. It looks amazing. Then I have um, their fourth album, which is called Four, obviously. Um, it's the last one with Zane and yeah. There is something with this album that makes it a little bit more special. So um, the boys asked on their Facebook um, to send in um, pictures. God knows for what. Uh, they didn't tell us where it was for. Um, but they asked us to send in our pictures. Uh, they asked us are the Benelux fans, so from Belgium, Luxembourg and, and Holland. Um, so they asked, hey Benelux fans, please send in your pictures. So when I saw that post, I, I, I immediately ran up to my room. I immediately started taking pictures and emailed them to like the email address that um, they asked you to send your pictures to. Even though I didn't know where it where they were gonna use it for, I was like, I need to do this. So, when uh, they came out with the One Direction, um, the Ultimate Edition, the Benelux Edition, I was like, I need to have that one. I don't know why, but I just wanted to get the Benelux Edition because it was, yeah, special for us, you know? And was, at the end, I'm so happy that I chose to get the Benelux Edition because else I would have never known that my picture was in this. I would never know. So I'm, I'm really happy. So when it was Christmas, my sister got this first, so we both have this one. And um, I was um, yeah, just looking around in the book blood casually. Then I came across this page which had pictures of fans in it. And then I was just looking at the pictures and I was like, oh my god. That's my picture. So I sat there on the couch and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, and I was crying. And they were like, what's happening? What's happening? They didn't know what, what was going on because they hadn't seen like the album. So I sat there crying on the couch when it was Christmas and I was like, I'm in One Direction's album. That, that moment was so surreal and I still, I still can't believe that I'm in there. Don't know if you can see it, but it's this one. I love them for doing this. I love them for putting fans in in their album because I got the opportunity to kind of like get noticed by One Direction, which is amazing. I don't know. It's the best feeling in the world and I couldn't be happier. So I'm one of the most lucky fans ever. And last but not least, we have the One Direction Made in the AM album. I first of all got this one for my birthday last year? I think it was last year, maybe two years ago. I'm not quite sure. But I got this one and yeah, I just liked the album. It was okay. Then I started to getting yeah, into One Direction more and more and more. <laughs> and then I bought the box. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't already have the album. 
I don't know, I don't know what I was like. I also have two of the One Direction solo albums. Um, I've got Harry's one, which is like the, I think it's the deluxe edition. It's like the photo booklet edition, which has amazing f photos in it. They're just amazing. I love watching at them because they kind of show you the writing process and the recording process. The last CD that I have, but definitely one of the best, um, is now Horan CD, which is called Flickr. And um, what can I say? I love it. I really love it. The songs on it are so good and I love it so much. And when I saw In Life, I just cried at three songs. You made me cry at three songs. Um, you made me smile, you made me happy, you made me dance. And I think if music can do that too, then yeah, you did a great job. So I love this album. So these were all of my uh, albums and CDs. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know um, any other artists that I should check out because I'm always looking for new artists. And if you haven't listened to my track Roses yet, you can listen to it on Spotify. I will put a link down in the description. You can also watch the video here on YouTube if you want to. And thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed already and you like this kind of videos, I'm planning on filming lots more because I'm done with school. I don't have to do, go to school anymore if I get good grades in my exams, else I have to go back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have a little break right now and yeah, I'm planning on making a lot more videos. So if you want to um, yeah, see them, then make sure to subscribe and click the little bell um, by the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, I want to thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!